Such information is not to be a substitute for professional medical, therapeutic, or healthcare advice or counseling. For medical issues or concerns, including decisions about medications and other treatments, readers, viewers, listeners should always consult their physician or, in serious cases, seek immediate assistance from emergency personnel. Prescription information, procedures, and use of medical devices information should be undertaken only by properly trained and certified medical personnel. We specifically disclaim any warranties, express or implied, including implied warranties of merchantability or fitness for a particular purpose. Such information is provided, as is, and is believed to be accurate at the time of its publishing, but it is the viewer's job to evaluate the accuracy of any information found in this presentation. Every case presented is of their own experience, applied by themselves for themselves and it applies to their case only. Every person experiencing health problems should seek professional medical advice and consult their course of treatment with a doctor. The processes of plasma balancing described herein, are a natural process which supports the body but does not replace medical advice or therapies one is already subject to. Hello everyone and welcome to the 64th public meeting for testimonials here on Monday, March 14th, 2022. This is a broadcast of the Cash Foundation Spaceship Institute Education Department and part of the public teachings in English. My name is Rick Cram and I'll be a host here today 
And I'm joined with Mark uh, as well as a co-host. And I think we're ready to present uh, some testimonials. In fact, I know we have Gianni standing by in Romania. And we have a live feed there now. And uh, we're going to meet up with Gianni by the by his uh, uh, fireside uh, uh, explanation of what's going on there. And we look forward to that. So, Johnny, are you ready to go? Yes, Rick. Bye, everyone. Hi, everybody. Uh, vă salutăm din România, din Valea Dragonilor. We salute you from Romania, from the Dragon Valley. Uh, comunitatea Poporul Ancestral. The community, the ancestral uh, people. Uh, o comunitate care a adunat toate, comun toate comunitățile care vor să devină autosustenabile din România. A community that gather a uh, lot of communities that want to be autosustainable in their own community. I would like to share the video so you can see it. Our image here. Yeah, can you see the image? Yes, we see and we can hear good too. Thank you. Ah, okay. Um, uh... Am început un ok, perfect. Am început un atelier uh, acum 9 zile aici în Valea Dragonilor. Uh, we started a workshop here 9 days ago here in Dragon Valley. Am început startul cu temperatură sub 0 grade. We started with the minus 0 degrees here. Uh, minus 5 grade. Uh, minus 5 degrees. Iar în momentul în care am pornit uh, cele trei reactoare care se văd în imagine, when we started the three reactors that you can see in the image, am ajuns și la minus 14 grade. Uh, we get even to minus uh, 14 degrees. Suntem într-o iurtă de 12 metri diametru. Uh, we are inside a yurt of 12 meters diameter. Aici am preparat, aici am preparat, am început cu modulul 0 plasma. Here we started the zero model of plasma. Am obținut plasma și am trecut la prepararea mâncării folosind plasma. We obtained the plasma and then we get to prepare the food with plasma. Am pregătit nanomaterialele pentru uh, nanomaterialele de plante pentru dom. We prepared the nanomaterials for uh, the dom. Iar apoi am, uh, am trecut și la construirea domului. And then we got to the construction of the dome. Lucrând uh, cumva în patru nivele în fiecare zi. Working with the uh, four levels uh, every day. Vorbind de aceleași module, începând cu plasma, mediu, agricultură, alimentație. We are talking about the same model, starting with plasma, uh, environment, uh, food and uh, agriculture. We will see in the next images in detail, in details. Dar ceea ce este minunat este faptul că ne-am adunat aici și cu toată temperatura scăzută am putut să construim și să intrăm în dimensiunea plasmei. And what is wonderful is although the temperature is low, we got to the the plasmatic environment. Și acum avem temperaturi sub 0 grade. Even now we have minus degrees. Undeva la minus 3. About 3, minus 3 degrees. Dar suntem aici și continuăm. But uh, we are here and we are continuing. Și uh, invităm pe toți cei care de pe planetă care doresc să, să vină să vadă cum trăim. And we invite everybody from the entire planet. Și să, to see how we live. și să învățăm împreună să intrăm în dimensiunea plasmei. And to learn together to uh, merge with the plasmatic environment. Începem dimineața uh, crearea a tot ceea ce este necesar. Uh, 
we are starting in the morning with the creating of what we are needing in the day. Având un program liber. Having a free program. Fiecare se trezește în funcție de ritmul personal. Everybody is, uh, everyone is waking up on his own uh, rhythm. Și fiecare din sufletele minunate care sunt prezente aici s-au poziționat în raport cu maestria pe care o poate exprima. And every beautiful soul that are here, they are positioning uh, according to, to their... Bineînțeles, uh, nu lipsesc tobele, muzica, uh, cum se numește? Handpanul. Of course, we have the music, we have handpan and the drums here. Și bineînțeles, dansul. And of course, the dance. Um, excuse me a second, Gianni. I think uh, Liliana is having an issue or something here. Uh, Liliana? Sí, gracias, Rick. Por favor, Gianni, si puedes bajar la, el sonido de la música porque no, no estamos escuchando acá en el grupo. Lo, ahora sí. Ah, ok. Es, es muy fuerte. Ah, ok. Por favor, gracias. Gracias. Thank you, Rick. It's ok, Rick. Uh, Închid camera ca să deschid fotografiile și ceea ce am făcut, videourile. Uh, I would like to turn out the camera and to share the photos. Ok. Fotografiile și videourile, cum bine știți, le-am postat pe Telegram în grupul multimedia pentru materiale nano. Uh, the picture I posted them, I know, on, on uh, the site with the nano materials. Începem imaginea cu cele 21 de suflete prezente la această manifestare. We start the image with the 21, the 21 soul that are present here. Cei care sunt în prezență aici și continuăm. Those that we are here and we are continuing. În această iurtă, aici am făcut și nanoacoperirea cuprului. Uh, in, inside the yurt, we made the nano covering of the copper. Și aici uh, se văd cele trei reactoare. Here you can see the three reactors. Am uh, construit o formațiune stelară din primele momente. We started with the star formation from the beginning. Pentru a ne construi mediul cu care să continuăm. To construct the environment that we want to continue. Este minunat ce putem să construim împreună. It is wonderful what we can construct together. Cu toată temperatura joasă, reactoarele au pornit imediat. Although the temperature was low, the reactor started immediately. Și în primele reactoare pornite au fost cele de CO2 ZNO. The first reactor that was started was CO2 and ZNO. Pentru a avea conexiunea și conexiunea cu partea emoțională. We have the connection and the connection with the emotional part. Facem acest lucru de câțiva ani. We are doing this uh, over a few years. Și rezultatele vorbesc de la sine. And the results talk from the self. Aici avem și moara cu care măcinăm grâul pentru pâine. Here we have... Uh, The machine that we are 
uh, dr draining the the seeds to make the bread. Pentru că din această experiență se va vedea cum folosind și tehnologia plasmatică putem să devenim un cost sustenabil. Uh, so that we can see by using the plasmatic technology we can become uh, auto sustainable. Și că este de ajuns uh, să fim deciși în ceea ce vrem să facem. So it's enough to be decide to be decided enough in what we are doing. Intenția noastră să fie clară. Our intention to be very clear. Și odată ce atingem echilibru, putem să construim orice. And uh, once we get to the uh, equilibrium, we can uh, do anything. Ce se vede aici în video sunt uh, suflete minunate de din toată țara. Here in the video you can see beautiful souls from all around the country. Și bineînțeles cum știm cu toții și acele suflete fără fizicalitate care participă în fiecare zi cu noi, în fiecare clipă. And also the souls without the physicality that are with us in every moment. Cu toate condițiile care la început au fost dure, acum nu mai sunt dure. With all the, the rough condition at first, now they are okay. Avem și copiii cu noi. We have the children with us. Și practic suntem aici. Pentru că dacă că se poate. And practically we are here to show that uh, it can be done. Aici, cu făina măcinată, folosind plasma și legume, am realizat și mâncarea noastră, care este fără tratament, preparată fără tratament termic. Here we have the flour that we used to make the food without the, the temperature. Dar de data aceasta am folosit de la început plasma în toate preparările. But here we use plasma from the beginning in every food. Horatio, Johnny, just a moment. Horatio, please uh, close up to you, to the microphone. I hear you, Johnny, very loud, and you, I don't hear you very well. It's not understanding uh, for translation or for everybody else. You, Horatio, no coming close. Close, yes, closer you when you translate, uh, it's better you listen to very well. Thank you. Okay. Sorry for interruption. That's good, Dan. Thank you. Appreciate that. Thank you, Dan. Thank you. Okay. Cred că acum se aude mai bine. I think you can hear better now. Și mulțumim, Dan, că putem să ne... Reechilibrăm și din punctul acesta de vedere. And thank you, Dan, for getting your break for this. Uh... Fotografiile abia acum am reușit să le pun pe Wait Telegram. Uh, the photos, uh, only uh, now I share them in the Telegram. Și scuzați pentru faptul că acum le preiau. Văd că unele încă nici nu s-au încărcat. And uh, sorry for that. I see that uh, there are some that are not yet downloaded. Le pun uh, în continuare până ce reușesc să le descarc și pe celelalte. Uh, I will share them uh, until I can share them all. Pentru că aș vrea să vedeți că aici am, am, uh, ne-am preparat absolut tot ceea ce ne este necesar. So you can see here we prepare everything that we need. Vă rog să mă acordați câteva minute și dacă sunt întrebări până atunci, am uh, timpul necesar să, 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 să descarce și celelalte fotografii. Uh, uh, please bear with me uh, so the other photos can download too. Mulțumesc. Thank you. Ok. 
Okay. Ah, it's okay. Uh, în momentul acesta construim și un internet ca să avem conexiunea mai bună. Uh, now we are working to have a better connection with the internet. Ok, un moment. Deci aici folosim făina legumele plasma. Here, Am făcut... Here using the flour, the legumes and plasma. Am preparat uh, cele trei tipuri de mâncare cunoscute. We prepare the three types of foods that we know. De fapt, sunt patru, gustare, supă, felul 2 și desert. The soup, the desserts and all the rest. Ceea ce numim în ziua de astăzi mâncare normală. What we call in this day normal food. Dar folosim plasma. Deja uh, ne îndreptăm către alimentarea directă cu câmpuri. But by using the plasma, we are uh, obtaining the feeding without, with the fields. Ce avem acum în imagine este un vas de lut, uh, primul în care am început să preparăm uh, cremele pentru dermă. Here in image we have uh, uh, clay. Uh, clay uh, jar that we prepare the soaps and the uh, creams. For... Și prima cremă pe care am făcut-o a fost cea de roiniță. And the first cream that we made is the flower, I don't know the name in English, roiniță, it's called. Melis? Melis, I think. Melis, yeah. Uh... Ce vreau să scoatem în evidență este că în jurul unui foc am făcut toate aceste preparări. What we want to show is that we prepared all these things around the fire. Folosind vase de ceramică care sunt puse pe pietre. Using uh, uh, ceramic uh, stones, stones and on the fire. Și dintr-un anumit punct de vedere, în aceste momente trăim cum se trăia cu mii de ani în urmă. And somehow now we are living how people lived in many, many years ago. Unde într-o iurtă construim tot ceea ce este necesar. Where inside the yurt we are constructing everything that we need. Dar de data, de data aceasta uh, Domnul este elementele Domnului gata și în ziua care urmează trecem la montajul lui. But this time the elements of the dome are going to be ready for the next day and we're going to get to the building of it. Și de aici mai departe suntem pregătiți și pentru construcția navelor pentru spațiul profund. And from this day ahead we are prepared for the building of the ships and uh, beyond. Deja cei care suntem aici o parte călătorim cu sufletul. Uh, although we are here some people that we are already journeying with the soul. Dar sunt suflete care vor să călătorească și în nave cu fizicalitatea. But they are so that uh, want to travel with the spaceship. Și în, dimensiunea, și în dimensiunea plasmei este posibil absolut orice. And in the plasma dimension, everything is possible. Aici, uh, ultimele imagini sunt uh, chiar înainte de aceste testimoniale. Am terminat de preparat săpunul. Here in the image, uh, just before the testimonials, we prepared soaps. Uh, detergentul lichid. The liquid detergent. Și pentru această preparare am folosit plasma de CO2 și uh, zinc oxigen. 
And for this, we use uh, CO2 plasma as in oxide, oxide plasma water. In the right plasma de zinc, in the right the CO2. At the right, the zinc oxide, and the right, then the left, the CO2. O imagine de deasupra a ceea ce am preparat. O image from above what we prepared. Deja este gata și față de celelalte tipuri de preparări ale detergenților, săpunurilor. Uh, they are already finished and uh, different with the uh, other soaps that we can buy. Acestea pot fi folosite uh, după 72 de ore. Uh, these creams can be used uh, before 72 hours. Pentru moment cam atât am avut de prezentat. Uh, for the moment this is uh, what we want to present. Și Uh, live-urile care sunt, sunt în limba română, dar vom lucra și la traducere în engleză și spaniolă. And the lives that we have, we, they are in Romanian and we are working to have them in English and Spanish too. Le vom prezenta la fel în grupul spaniol, în limba spaniolă. We will present them in the Spanish group. Cu traducere în engleză. With the Spanish language with an English translation. Și vom reveni miercuri, Rick, cu domnul construit deja. And we will come back uh, Tuesday with the dome already built. Unde vom avea Wednesday. atelierul permanent. Where we have uh, the permanent uh, workshop. Și pentru cei care doresc să vină să învățăm împreună. And for those who want to come to learn together. Sunteți invitați. You are invited. Intrarea este liberă. The entry is free. Avem uh, cazare și încă lucrăm la construirea domurilor pentru cazare. Uh, we have places to sleep and we are working at the domes for the sleeping area. Mâncarea o cultivăm și o preparăm aici, dar din dimensiunea plasmei. Uh, the food we are cultivating here, but in the plasmatic environment. Mulțumim și uh, aș vrea, dacă sunteți de acord, pentru trei minute să ascultăm muzica și totul pentru pacea pe această planetă, pentru echilibru tuturor sufletelor. And uh, if you want, uh, we would like to have a three minutes of songs only for uh, the peace of Earth and all around, all over the, the world. Și fie ca lumina cunoașterii Creatorului. And the light. The light of the creation. Light of the creator. Să lumineze sufletele tuturor oamenilor de pe această planetă. To shine all of the people on this planet. Thank you. Thank you. Și pornim muzica. And we start the music.
Thank you all. <clears throat> that was uh, fantastic. Uh, the bell at the end just kept going on forever. Very nice. Thank you. Well, does anyone have any questions for Gianni or anything they'd like to say about that? I guess we'll hear more from his project in uh, tomorrow in the uh, plasma group perhaps okay if no further questions Malcolm says there was big energy coming through there yes definitely lots of energy in that group powered by GANs <laughs> All right, well, does anyone else have something they'd like to uh, present at this at this point in the uh, meeting? Okay, well, there's some testimonials in the uh, testimonials website that I can read. Let's get that up. Okay, you should be able to see that. Let me make it bigger. So this is the uh, testimonials, uh, Cash Foundation testimonials website or web page at testimonials.cashfoundation.org. And 
then we've got a couple of new testimonials that have come in that I've posted here. One on Kesh Health Unit Therapies from uh, Theodore in Greece. So I'll read the testimonial. It says, Here in Greece, in Thessaloniki, uh, Thessaloniki um, a Kesh Health Unit that I built for a therapist from April 2021 until now, where timid and selected patients perform treatments with amazing results. I am happy that you're treating people without drugs. I present some testimonies. Alexandra Mavromatidou, parasites after plasma treatment four times were removed. The parasites from the ear and nose. Androglo Aphrodite had hemangiomas, hemangiomas in the liver from a young age. Now, 50 years after regular treatment and in regular ultrasound, and computed tomography examination was not found. So he uh, eliminated this uh, problem in the liver that he had for 50 years. Theodosia papatheodosio parathyroidism with many side effects throughout the body, kidney removal and deformity of many bones and the spine and was a, in a wheelchair permanently, now walks in the house, feels better, began to uh, menstruate. We're in the process of treatment. The thyroid values dropped from 3,500 units to 500. Uh, Sakis Papanatsios physiotherapist 12 years ago he had a stroke that left him with mobility problems after eight sessions in the unit with a health helmet he got the feeling in the limbs and moves his legs and arms much better uh, Kizaki Nicoleta chronic inflammation in the Achilles tendon after four sessions the inflammation was eliminated and it no longer hurts. So those are some testimonials of the Kesh Health Unit that was built uh, by Theodore in Greece. Next we have from Sebastian in Slovenia, the plasma water of food. It says, how I slowly get used to plasma water food. When cooking, I add another milliliter of plasma water to the ingredients I use for cooking. After such food, of course, with awareness, I am satiated for more time. This makes it easier for me to give up material food over time. Cooked food, I indulge and share with all the inhabitants of the earth who have no food. Okay, thank you, Sebastian. He has a couple of more entries here as well. Um, we may have read this before, but I'll try it uh, anyways here. Uh, plasma water bath. Because of various ugly habits, such as smoking, alcohol, watching television, and following mental habits that are not in tune with the soul, the soul of the body, the soul of the spirit, the mind, they each go their separate ways and cause a multi-layered imbalance. To balance the physical body, emotions, and other bodies, or souls, is a very useful bath, where I put inside revitalized water and about 20 liters of plasma water of various GANs, amino acids, and salt. I also drink some plasma water and amino acids before entering the bath. It feels like I'm not in the water. When I come out, I have skin as a child, and where I had a scratch or a blow, a burn, it forms on the skin like some invisible layer of new tissue, and I also have no more tension. 
in water I have to be aware of myself, the water and the plasma of the water around me and in me, and to connect with it and to thank it, just as it is done to connect with the Magrav. It's okay for me to have such a concentration of plasma water. Maybe someone it would be too strong. Most likely with the latest versions of One Cup, One Life, the same is achieved, only I haven't done that yet. Okay, thank you, Sebastian. And we're going to go for the next one as well here. Also in the health category from Sebastian. It was mentioned in lectures that the virus has two functions. It can give energy or take it away. I tried to connect with the virus and talk to him. I got the coronavirus. I had a headache, bones from feet to knees. It felt like my bones were melting and becoming soft. I had a fever and no taste. The procedure was as follows. So I asked the virus to be shown to me. I told him that as an intelligent being, he has two choices in this universe. If he wants, he should return to the one from whom he is alienated. That I try to live by the rules of plasma, and that is that the stronger always feeds the weaker. In the interaction be between him and me, I am weaker and he is stronger, and I ask him to accept the rules of this game and that I cannot feed him. He stepped away from me and let me know that he didn't want to play such a game and he walked away. Everything stopped hurting me and I only had a fever for two more days because the body was able to regenerate after the damage he did. After two days I started getting back the flavor as well. Okay, and uh, I'm not sure if we've covered the uh, one from Gina as well here. So, drinking cash water. Uh, she says, I actually stumbled onto the cash plasma energy through a friend. I've been drinking cash water for over a month. My physical, mental, and emotional health is steadily improving daily. At this point, I'm weaning off my pain meds and Elevil, a tricyclic antidepressant for nerve pain. I have more energy each day, very little menopause symptoms, not craving junk and carbs and sugar. I can feel my vibration steadily rising. Okay, I think we covered this uh, star formation one some time ago, so I'll leave that for now. And that's it for the new uh, the new testimonials, I believe. Let me double check on that. Johnny has his hand raised. Uh, I don't know if it was up oh. from before. Um, okay, I thank you, Mark. I finished the uh, testimonials, though. The reading. Yep, I'm done uh, with reading that for now. Uh, Gianni, would you like to go ahead? Is there something uh, you'd like to say? Yes, Rick. Yes, uh, I'm Roshi, so the Scarchi photography like Udomo. Uh, the, I managed to download the photos with the domes. Uh, oh, okay. De fact, vorbim de pregătirea domului. Uh, but we are talking, talking about the preparing of the dome. Și te rog să-mi acorzi permisiunea să pornă share-ul. And I'd like to share screen, please. Okay, yes. Yep, go ahead. Okay. Aici, Horatio și Flaviu, pregătind 
triunghiurile. Here, Flavio and Horatio preparing the triangles. Avem făcut un live și cu uh, explicația. We have a live video with the explanation. Aici, uh, tratarea lemnului cu nanomateriale, nanoplante și plasmă. Here, uh, the treatment for the wood with nanoplants and uh, plasma water. Și de data aceasta uh, facem un primul dom domo atelier. And this is our first uh, uh, workshop dom. Este un dom de 9, 9 metri diametru. Uh, it's a dom of uh, 9 meter diameter. Care este compus în, în versiunea 6 din 360 de triunghi. That is in the V6 version of the dome with the 360 triangles. Nanomaterialele din plante le am obținut folosind plantele din zonă. The nanomaterials that we use uh, gather the plants from this area. Care în această perioadă anului la noi sunt uscate. That uh, in this period of the year here they are dry up. Nu mai bune pentru a fi uh, desfăcută structura pentru a dărui. Uh, perfectly for opening the structure of them to give them back to the nature. Pentru a ne dărui puterea plasmei în tot ceea ce vrem să construim. So that can give us the gift of the plasma back. În imagine este o improvizație pe care am făcut-o, unde am pus utilajele pentru uh, tăierea lemnului la unghi. Uh, this is an uh, improvisation for uh, the tools to cut the wood. Și imediat după ce uh, Horatiu a poziționat uh, lemnul și am învelit cu folie, a început să ning aici. And uh, when uh, we start to put the, uh, the wood up and uh, the foil, then they start snowing here. Dar am, am continuat să lucrăm indiferent de condițiile atmosferice. But we uh, continue working despite the și da environment. Și toate acestea datorită faptului că am atins un echilibru. Uh, and this because we reach uh, an equilibrium. Ceea ce ne permite să percepem temperaturile uh, într-un mod cu totul diferit. Uh, that uh, it's uh, for us permits us to feel the temperature differently. Toate aceste detalii le vom uh, împărtăși Rick și Miercuria. All the, these details, we will share them with you, Rick. Dar și, dar și în celelalte grupuri unde suntem invitați. But uh, in all the groups that we are invited. Aici și pâinea făcută cu plasmă. Here's the bread that is made with plasma. Este prima pâine plasmatică făcută la dimensiunea aceasta. This is the first, the first plasmatic bread that is made uh, on this dimension. Și aici vrem să arătăm un mod de viață. And here we like to show you a way of life. Care este accesibil tuturor celor care vor să intre în această dimensiune. There is accessible to all of the people that want to get inside the plasma dimension. Dimension. Nu am reușit să descarc toate fotografiile și videourile datorită faptului că dacă descarc acum, nu mai am conexiune pentru prezentare. Uh, I didn't quite get to download all the photos because if I do that right now, I get disconnected from the Zoom. Dar uh, ne oprim aici cu prezentarea și vom continua miercuri în plasma reactor group. But we will stop here with the presentation and we will continue in the plasma reactor group. Și invităm și colegii din grupul spaniol, care sunt prezenți în sala spaniolă, să prezinte, pentru că sunt o mulțime de 
testimoniale care pot fi prezentate. And we invite the Spanish group from the uh, inside the Zoom to share with us all the testimonials with our, a lot of them are great. Mulțumim. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, excellent. Thank you, Johnny, once again. Very interesting. Uh, plasmatic bread. So can you tell me, uh, does this bread actually get cooked a little bit around the fire or warmed up or, or it doesn't, you don't actually cook the bread, correct? How, how long do you keep it around the fire? Tell me more about the process. Okay, Vic. Uh, păi now o punem uh, în jurul focului pe pietre calde. Uh, we put the bread around the fire on warm uh, stones. Dar nu pentru a se coace, pentru că ea este gata, preparată cu plasmă. But uh, not to cook because it is ready with plasma water. Ci doar pentru a se încălzi puțin datorită temperaturilor scăzute de aici. Uh, but only to warm up a little because of the low temperature here. Păi ne-au preparăm folosind uh, făina de grâu măcinată. Uh, we are preparing the bread with the flour. Vorbim de făină integrală. We are talking about uh, integral flour. În care adăugăm plasmă de CO2 și ZNO. Uh, we put the, the plasma from CO2 and ZNO. Bineînțeles cu aminoacid. Of course, with the amino acid. Și în, preparat, în pâinea pe care am preparat-o, am adăugat și aminoacidul care se numește ulei de măsline. And uh, uh, we, in, in this bread we put also the amino acid that is called the olive oil. Pâinea poate fi consumată imediat ce este preparată. The bread can be eaten uh, right after it is ready very, very quick. Dar toate aceste procese RIT putem să le prezentăm și în plasma reactor grup cu detalii. But we can present uh, these things in the plasma reactor group with all the details. Mulțumesc pentru întrebare și este important pentru cei care doresc să abordeze și această latură, este minunat că putem să o prezentăm. Thank you for the question. It is wonderful for this side of the plasma that we can present. So thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Thank you. As I look forward to uh, further explanation as well. Um, So, just to, to recap um, the various ways that uh, you've used the plasma, Gianni, you have plasma in the growing of the plants. Um, I'm, I assume, did you grow the wheat? Did you grow the wheat with plasma? Uh, in this workshop, Uh, in this workshop, fiecare uh, a adus câte ceva ce a cultivat pe terenul lui. Everybody has bring something that they had on the. Și grâul a fost dăruit. De, și grâul este dăruit de un prieten drag, un suflet minunat. The grain is is gifted from a friend. Se numește George. From Georgia. Iar grâul a fost cultivat pe terenul lui. The grain was uh, cultivated on his ground. A venit aici să experimentăm împreună. He came here to experiment together. Și din acest an deja și-a pregătit uh, uh, bobinele pentru a porni reactoarele. 
And from this year, he prepared his own oils for starting the reactors. Pentru a avea și grâul plasmatic. The plasmatic grain. În ceea ce urmează în aceste ateliere, in these next workshops, învățăm cum să uh, reechilibrăm solul. Uh, we are learning how to uh, re-equilibrate the soil. Să plasmatizăm semințele. To plasmatize seeds. Și să le plantăm. And to plant them. În cei aproape 5 ani de când folosim plasma, in this over five years that we are using plasma, tot ceea ce am cultivat în oazele noastre, everything that we cultivate in, in our oasis, nu poate fi comparat cu celelalte, doesn't have any comparison, pentru că odată ce ai gustat ceva dintr-o oază plasmatică, Because once you tasted something from the plasmatic oasis, toate celelalte legume și fructe cumva le existe ceva. Uh, the other uh, legumes, they are, they are missing something, Some, something like that. Este firesc pentru că oamenii verticali, plantele, cum le numim, it's... Uh, It's normal because the vertical people, the plants, într-o oază plasmatică, uh, trăiesc fericite. Inside a plasmatic oasis, they are living uh, happy. Ceea ce primim este prin dăruire. Uh, what we receive, receive yes, yes, came from uh, gifts. Noi, la rândul nostru, dăruind plasma, We giving away plasma free. Am, sta- am stabilit o, o relație de simbioză. Uh, we created a relations of symbiosis relationship. Și învățăm să construim un mediu atât cu sufletele vizibile încarnate, cât și cu celelalte. And we are learning to build an environment with the souls that uh, they are here physically and the soul they are not here physically. Deja o parte din noi percep uh, aceste câmpuri, aceste magravuri ale ființelor. Some of us uh, we are sensing the magravs of these beings here. Și este magnific ce putem să trăim la nivel de sentimente uh, în acest joc. And it's magnificent what we can uh, experience in this uh, game. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, excellent. Thank you, Johnny. Any other questions or uh, comments about that? Yeah, I have a difficult time understanding the translation acoustically. Okay, is there anything in particular that uh, you missed or we could help explain? Most of it. (laughs) It's just Mm. somehow the the consonants are not coming across very well. Yeah, I understand. Uh, Sometimes they're... It's hard to, hard to understand the, the translators and so on. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know what to suggest, actually. Uh, what you could do is uh, come to the uh, Plasma Reactor Group meeting, where Gianni will be explaining in detail the things he was talking about today. And uh, perhaps we can uh, make sure that uh, you can hear uh, better in that uh, environment. Okay. I'll try and be up. <laughs> oh yeah, okay. So that's that can be an issue as well. Thank you. There will be a recording uh, of that uh, workshop okay. available on the live stream um, in the live stream uh, channel. Thanks. But everything is very exciting. <laughs> Have you tried anything yourself? I think you have. I think you told yes. us about something yes. you were doing. Yes. 
Mm -hmm. How's how's that going? That's going when I have time to do it. Um, I just recently didn't have the time. I had a dog that was seizuring, cluster seizures, so I just have to take care of him. Have you tried feeding uh, Gans water to the dog? I have used a, 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 a cup one with him. Mm -hmm. uh, spraying and uh, he always gets the water in his food and in his drink. Okay. But somehow hasn't been enough. Mm -hmm. uh, Rick? So <laughs> yes? Uh, avem o experiență uh, chiar astăzi. We have a, an experiment here today. No, we it's had an experience here with a dog that he's... My property okay. microphone for Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Yes. Get, get a little closer to the microphone would be good. Thank you. So we had an Your experience... Name, Your name? My name is Roxana. Nice to meet you. I'm here in visit. And there was a dog here, local, that he, she, well, he's uh, epileptic. He has crisis of a epileptic uh, episode. Seizures, Seizures yeah. Seizures. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a nice word. <laughs> and we thought that he would be poisoned. Maybe it was, maybe not, but Johnny uh, gave him some... Plasma. What? Plasma He gave him a plasma of CO2, CO2. And oxygen. Mm -hmm. and oxygen. Mm -hmm. uh, and in 15 minutes, 20 minutes was uh, over. So he, and after that was really energetic and playing really like nothing happened. So I hope it will not happen anymore. He is Azi, right here ne next to me. Chiar pornesc camera ca să se și vadă. Trebuie să stau să share the video so you can see him. The dog is uh, with us uh, right now and mm -hmm. uh, she's staying uh, is giving the plasma water of CO2 and uh, zinc oxide. Uh, am pornit camera. I started the video. Roxana este la început uh, acum a intrat în dimensiunea plasmei. The Roxana is at the beginning in the plasmatic dimension. Se vede? Can you see it? Yes. Yeah, this dog has had seizures for about three years and they are now cluster seizures. So he has like five or six or seven grand mal seizures in a day. Not all oh, wow. the time, but, but like every two weeks or so now or 10 days that happens. So he does have medication, and so I give him double, triple medication to stop it, but it's not my choice of solution. Okay. So I will have yeah. to make some zinc oxide. Yes. Yeah, I was Did just going to suggest dog? that. That's a good idea. Thank you. I'll try that. She asked, uh, what did you say? Is it a stray dog? Is that what she's saying? He had a stray dog, and okay. he came around us, like a lot of people are gathering, gathering more and more, <laughs> and animals are coming, and the fauna and the flora is starting to come to life, and it's so beautiful to see this. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Yes, thanks. Uh, it's wonderful to get these live feeds from literally the other side of the planet from where I'm at. And uh, we're able to interact in live real time and, uh, you know, add in about our own testimonials and so on. That's great. Thank you so much. It's just wonderful to see. Okay, any more questions or comments here?
Okay, does anybody else have a, an, another uh, testimonial or something they'd like to uh, bring up? Of their practical experience of the plasma technology? Yeah, I have another little story. I, I have a, a skin lotion that I have used for a long Pistola. time. Very good one. And I've just been setting it between the cup one ganses and it is much better. Better in, in what ways? What do you mean? Uh, it feels it better like, on your skin? It feels like you can see within a day, you can see a rejuvenation of the skin. Mm-hmm. Have you tried using the plasma water on your skin? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, that too. I've done that too. But I, I figured I would put this particularly good lotion that I've used for years that is has other nutrients for the skin in it. Mm -hmm. And just energize that because it's water-based. So um, might as well combine the two effects. Maybe that's not a good idea, but maybe it is. The question in that context is... Is my um, GANS going to be affected by the um, skin lotion? I mean, the skin lotion is oh. affected by the GANS, but is it uh, affected the other way around also? Well, it, uh, is the lotion um, open to the air, or is, is it closed in a closed uh, container, or it's you closed. leave it open? Okay. It's in a plastic tube. Eric, I posted in the chat uh, the 12 uh, International Knowledge Seekers workshop where it's about uh, this, uh, let's say, issue. Okay, thank you, Dan. We will have a look at that. Um, I was just going to show the uh, some of the products here. The I don't know if we still have the, there's the GAN soap bar. And there's also, it looks like that. There's also some GAN's um, hand cream, I think. Let me have a look through our products here. the hand cream is uh, still available still going through some products here oh, I think that's the end of it I didn't see the hand cream let me just double check here with should be under wellness ah there we are Well, that, this that's is a shower uh, gel. Yeah, shower gel, shampoo, and liquid hand soap, which is a little different. Okay. You're looking for a moisturizer of some sort. I didn't think. Yeah, more of a skin cream sort of thing. I thought they had something like that. I know Mr. Kesh was entertaining a question, mentioning how much zinc is in a lot of these hair products. Skincare products. Yeah, mine is aloe based. Yeah, I don't see any specific uh, skincare stuff, but there is the other shower gel and hand soap, which the hand soap would uh, would include the plasma uh, mixture in it as well. Beware the rooster, it's singing. Pardon, pardon me, Dan? Beware your rooster, it's oh. singing, it's dawning. <laughs> yeah, Beware. it's, it's a, a bit early today. Well, it's actually on time, but because the time changed uh, to our uh, 
our time in North America changed it went an hour ahead so it's actually an hour later here than it would have normally been so the roosters on time <laughs> for you guys <laughs> in a way or for here he's on time because it's now normally be two hours past uh, anyway um, yeah so <clears> hmm <throat> I know that the, there are hand creams also available from other suppliers. I think that uh, uh, from what is it? One of the other plasma stores uh, has it. Okay, well, let's have a look at what Dan posted. Also, I know from from personal experience that the. Uh, the uh, CO2 and zinc oxide GANS water is really very uh, uh, soothing for the skin. I get uh, skin issues from time to time and uh, I've tried different creams and so on and they just irritate my skin when it's irritated it doesn't like all those health creams and so on but if I put the GANS water on it's just like instant um, relief, instant relief and cooling off of the irritation and it's like I call it the liquid skin it's nice stuff sure there's lots of products uh, for the skin that could be uh, made for from that material I have another <laughs> testimonial for a cup one uh, my contractor was drilling a hole and the, the drill got out of control and he injured his hand seriously. So normally he says it doesn't take very long for him to heal, but after 10 days, it was still really bad and painful. So I had him soak his hand in the cup one water and in, in an hour, it was, the swelling was massively gone and the pain was su substantially relieved. Hmm. So, mm hmm. How long did he soak it for? An hour. Oh, he soaked his hand for an hour. I see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I had him watch something from last week's meeting <laughs> during that okay. hour. He <laughs> sat go. here in front of my computer with his hand in the, in the huh. one. So wow. That worked really well. Yeah, double treatment. Uh -huh. Very yes. good. <laughs> had a captive audience he sort of was obligated yes. to sit there <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> well that's a great idea I have both of those things the soaking in the uh, water I could see how that would just pull off the uh, irritation and I mean was that salted uh, uh, cup one water or was it did it have salt in it or was yeah, I think it, it had uh, salt yeah I think this some some salt at least is good with uh, soaking and uh, various uh, you know uh, afflictions like that on the skin that might need a. Uh, could you shed a little more light on the salt versus no salt? Well, normally uh, Gans water will have no salt because right. you've washed it several times after about three to four washings then you shouldn't taste or see much uh, or there shouldn't be any right. you know taste of salt in the water we call that uh, sweet water sweet water okay so uh, mr kesh seems to recommend to put uh, definitely the amino acids back in and sometimes some of the salt as well when you're using the GANS waters for uh, maybe for a pain pad or for uh, you know applying to uh, a surface or to your skin so that seems to be um, something he recommends and you know he, s he said before you don't have to totally flush out totally uh, get all of the salt out of the GANS water um, but if you were going to drink the Gans water, you don't want to have a, a large salt concentration because it will it will give you diarrhea, and it will go through your body quite quickly. 
There was that's... something else. There was like one of them was alkaline versus the other one acid or something. Well, the CO2 and zinc oxide GANSes tend to be alkaline, and the GANS water will be alkaline, and uh, the GANSes will tend to turn things around it alkaline as well. But then the CH3 GANS is more acidic, so that's a different, uh, okay. a different scenario. Thank you. Can anybody else add to any of that? Kay asks, what's the best proportions between the zinc and CO2 mixture? Well, I think that would depend on your exact uh, application. Do you mean for plasma capacitors or for, you know, uh, drinking it for some sort of affliction you might feel inside? Or is it for your skin? How do you mean it, uh, Kay? Um, good evening, Rick. Sorry, the, my house is a bit noisy. Um, can you hear me? Oh, clearly, yeah. Oh, great. God bless. Um, thank you. Um, so, yeah, the question was just um, <clears throat> about the... Uh, the skin rejuvenation because the lady says she has used uh, carb one and uh, Dan was saying that uh, zinc has been using everywhere uh, in the product. Uh, I do know definitely apart from amino acids, CO2 needs to be there. But what would be the best proportion if anybody had any um, experience, what would be the best proportion or mixture uh, balance percentage wise, uh, zinc as opposed to the um, CO2? So is it 50-50 or zinc is 75 and CO2 25? I was just wondering. How do you know? <clears throat> How do you know when you make CO2 GANs, normally you get uh, some zinc anyway with it. So you'd have to know what proportion of the zinc with the CO2. And the ways everybody makes their GANs is different. So everyone's going to have a different proportion of zinc to the CO2 just when trying to make the CO2 GANs. <clears throat> then when we make the zinc GANs, it'll be more, uh, you know, a much higher percentage of pure uh, zinc GANs there. So they could be mixed, you, you could think, but <clears throat> it's still hard to tell how much of the zinc is with the original CO2 mixture when you do mix them both together, the CO2 plus the zinc. So um, all in all, I would say for skin issues, you need a high percentage of zinc whatever that is, probably 50% or more, um, maybe even just the pure zinc oxide might, uh, might work quite well, but I always think the CO2 mixed in with it, at least uh, some of it is good, plus the aminos as well. And we do, do know that zinc is good for skin issues. Uh, the medical profession has used zinc for probably a few thousand years and uh, it's used in uh, calamine lotion that pink stuff that people the kids put on for fly bites and uh, cuts and that kind of thing the, or if you have a, a rash you put on the calamine lotion and that's very high in uh, zinc oxide It's the main ingredient, main active ingredient in that uh, medical, uh, <clears throat> medical uh, product. And also in creams for diaper rash. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's, it's amazing. I actually used them, sorry if I may, <clears throat> I, I had a very deep scratch, um, maybe a quarter of an inch uh, long and perhaps only four or five millimeter wide. And um, the scratch was deep, like the three layers of the skin is gone and you could see the white layer underneath the uh, third layer of the skin, which is, you know, the, uh, I think it's, it's called fascia, I think it's called, uh, like a gristle. And I put CO2 on it with a bit of a zinc. Um, I've got CO2 zinc mixture, uh, which I bought them, uh, I bought the CO2 and the zinc, uh, I bought it from foundation. So I, pre I presume there isn't much of a zinc in that CO2 
because you you could make pure CO2 in a you know in a MagGraph setup. But nevertheless, uh, my proportion was 20, 25 percent zinc and 75 to 80 percent maximum CO2 with prospective uh, amino acid. I, I, I sprayed that shortly after the scratch took place and it was an absolute amazing. Um, it just healed so fast. Uh, it didn't heal like uh, as if it healed uh, and it gone away, but it sealed it very fast. And, you know, a, a, skin, a scratch as deep as that always leaves a dent. The, uh, you can see uh, part of your flesh is missing or skin is missing. But this skin now is, is so smooth, even though I can see it's a dark patch there where the um, scratch took place. But it's so smooth, there's no bump, there's no, uh, you know, there's no picks and troughs, there's no dent or anything like that. It's as smooth as if nothing has happened, even though I can just see darkness of that skin where the uh, scratch took place. The CO2 and zinc, I, I, I presume it would be the CO2, which has done most of the job, but obviously zinc because of the emotion. It has sealed that wound so beautifully, it's unbelievable. Um, you know, so I'm, I'm going to use this if, um, you know, if, if uh, God forbid, if there's any, you know, burning or any of these scratches, it's, mm -hmm. you know, it's really unbelievable. I've heard this before from other people who, you know, put testimonies on, well, um, unbelievable stuff for the scratch and, you know, wounds and things like that, or even cut. Mm -hmm. That's I, I swear it's it, we have should have a product called spray on skin and uh, just be the CO2 and zinc, uh, uh, you know, product with uh, and used for burns. Uh, you can imagine someone that's had major burns on their body and they don't really have I mean, they have various treatments that are, I guess, pretty, pretty advanced now in hospitals and so on. But uh, you can imagine the use of the uh, spray on skin in that situation where you can just spray on a product and not have to put dressings and so on up against the skin, which can actually cause more irritation and take longer to heal and more scarring and, and that kind of thing. With spray on skin, you just spray it on and... Uh, you get instant relief. The, the cooling, I was amazed at the cooling effect of the uh, spray-on skin mixture because uh, I know that if uh, when my skin is really irritated, then being in the sunlight will cause pain. It'll cause pain on my arms if my arms are really irritated with that uh, affliction. And uh, years ago, I used to have to wear long sleeve uh, shirts in the summertime because the sun would hurt my arms. And water, water would, uh, some, if, if it was super irritated, then water actually hurts the skin when you don't have that top layer of skin, when it's so irritated that it's basically the second layer is coming out on the top. and. Your nerves are right on the surface. It's a, it's a very uh, hard thing to uh, go through. So the worst uh, pain I've ever suffered in my life was a severe uh, skin irritation uh, that I had about you know, 12 years ago or so. And it was just life-altering. It was uh, so bad that... The, Oh, there's times I didn't feel like I wanted to live if I kept feeling that way. And uh, it went on for for uh, months. And it was the most excruciating thing I've ever gone through. If I knew about the GANS technology at that point, I would have been spraying and getting a lot of relief because I had no way of, no way of getting relief. There was nothing I could do. The, there is some special medicine from the uh, doctor eventually that a skin uh, specialist I went to and who told me there was something at work that was irritating my skin. It turned out to be oil. I was allergic to oil and uh, when I get it on my skin I can start bleeding from oil. And uh, but 
if I known about the uh, GANS technology and the spray on skin technique back then, I would have been so thankful and so uh, relieved to get that relief. It's, uh, it, I could just uh, imagine all of the people now around the world that are in pain and suffering that can be re relieved from this simple simple technique it's so simple that it what costs five cents if that you can use the stuff you probably have around the house now to make the co2 and the zinc oxide gans and uh, for very little money and a little bit of effort you can have a product that will relieve the suffering as good as as or probably better than any commercial product that's available on the market now so that's how powerful this technology is and it's literally in your hands you could imagine for example in a situation where perhaps uh, you know a world conflict bursts out or some other thing that might cause the internet to go down or to stop our supply of products from you know the the skin products and so on that we go and find in our supermarkets and and pharmacies and so on maybe they're shut down and we're not able to access those well having the knowledge about this technology and how to create it by yourself in your own home whether you're a five-year-old or a grandmother it doesn't matter, you just have to know a few simple basic facts and uh, bingo, you're, you can create your own products at home. And with the knowledge on how to create soap, which uh, has been somewhat lost in, in the uh, past, the, the making of lye from ashes and that kind of thing, which is all part of the plasma technology of Gianni, uh, does that uh, as part of his work um, that uh, knowledge uh, is in the plasma technology and we have access to that and uh, it's it's a simple knowledge that doesn't require pharmaceutical drugs and complicated procedures and so on and so forth just a few simple things and uh, you're ready to begin so this could get someone through in a crisis situation no matter what the crisis is there's a there's a plasma solution for it so it doesn't matter whether it's a a uh, virus of some sort call it any name you want the technology is designed to deal with the virus condition or it can help with uh, Everything from building of bones, if you have a broken bone, and the helping of healing with that kind of situation, to uh, helping feed people and uh, create energy in times when uh, our energy systems are down. And did so, we hear that the cup number two is 50 times stronger than any antibiotic on the market? Yeah. I thought I heard that was uh, said at one point in time, cup number two, or what we call the copper cup. Yeah, I think Mr. Kish said that. I don't know how he possibly measured such a thing, but he that seems about right. Somewhere between 10 and 100, select 50. <laughs> that makes sense. Well, my, um, my sister, who's a doctor, uh, I think last year uh, I said something about you. I mentioned it. She, she had a problem with her throat. Uh, I know she caught a corona, uh, quite a few of my mam uh, my family member caught corona back home in Iran. Um, and then she had such a bad infection on her throat, um, uh, Judy's corona and, you know, the cold and all that which came about. Um, and then I suggested to her to, to just gargle her mouth for one or two minutes. Uh, if she loses her breath, just hold on to it, uh, hold on to the water at the bottom of her throat, take a breath from her nose and then gargle it. She, she did that. And then next day, she was so absolutely gobsmacked, so unbelievable. She said, I can't believe this infection. Normally we have to give 
course of antibiotic, which takes seven days, the most powerful antibiotic, I think, you should talk about a thousand or, or two thousand milli, uh, milli, uh, milligram of a strength. But she says this COP2 has killed this infection in her throat practically overnight. So she, just before she, she went to sleep, then I was speaking to her actually, I said, do that, please, it will help you. And then she, she, she gargled her mouth with it. In the morning when she got up, there was no infection in her throat at all. And she was just perfectly clear. She could talk and everything gone. And that was COP2. It wasn't even, you know, the original copper gans, but it's a COP2 copper gans, which is obviously a bit of a weaker strength than the copper oxide itself that we make or is made separately. This, this, COP, this COP2 obviously is made for the virus, which is a little bit of a weaker strength. But yes, it's very, very powerful, a very powerful antibiotic. Um, Mark is quite right, and Sagesh has said it so many times. Obviously, it is used for purification of water in Africa. It's been used quite a lot in order to get rid of all the dirty water, um, where, you know, it, is, it's, it cleans and cleanses everything in terms of uh, pollution. Powerful stuff. God bless, Mr. Cash. Amazing, eh? Unbelievable stuff. It's great to hear a testimonial like that from the medical profession that is, uh, like you say, gobsmacked. Uh, you know, it's... It's... Uh, uh, it's mind-boggling that the medical profession doesn't know about ways of treatment like that. Uh, there's other, you know, simple cures using uh, Epsom salts. Magnesium sulfate is uh, is what they used to use in the World War One when people had wounds, war wounds. They would do an Epsom salt poultice. So you uh, poultice is like wrapping the area with a with a uh, cloth that's soaked in uh, or has a, is dampened at least in uh, uh, Epsom salt or salt uh, um, uh, concentration you know, with the Epsom salts. So you create a poultice and that draws out the toxins and poisons and. Uh, and uh, helps the healing process with the magnesium and uh, it's magnesium sulfate. So it's got both sulfur and magnesium, which are both helpful for healing. And uh, I was able to uh, cure myself of a knee infection that I was told by the hospital of, uh, I just wanted them to, to x-ray it and get the little particle of metal or something that was causing the irritation, the, the swelling. I wanted them to take it out, but they said they wanted to put me on IV antibiotics for a week in the hospital first before they'd even operate on my knee to remove this this uh, irritation that was in my knee that caused the bump on my knee, the swelling. And I, the thought of being in the hospital for a week with a, a thing stuck in my arm with uh, antibiotics going in. I just my I started going into a cold sweat at that point and thinking how can I get out of this, so I told the nurse that I wasn't willing to go through that, um, and uh, what do I have to do to uh, to uh, to leave the hospital basically, and she said well you have to sign this special form from the doctor and she said but of course you know if this gets any worse you could lose your leg. So I was warned, and that freaked me out even more. And uh, I, I went. I left the hospital. And I went back uh, <clears throat> to my home, and because uh, uh, I was at work, that was a, a long ways away. I went back to home, and decided to deal with it uh, at least in the hospital from where I lived, rather than uh, from where I was working. So uh, I. Eventually, I talked to my wife, who suggested to go to her natural path to um, have a look at it. He was a chiropractor, but he was also a natural path. And uh, in two minutes, in, in less than two minutes, in his waiting room, he told me exactly what to do, and I was totally cured within one day. And that was in an Epsom salt poultice 
using Epsom salts, magnesium sulfate. Uh, you uh, wrap your knee with uh, with this uh, gauze uh, cotton and soak it a bit with the Epsom salts. And then the secret, he says, is to wrap your knee with saran wrap, that plastic wrap, clear plastic wrap. And that keeps all the moisture in and heat and so on. So I did that. I went home and uh, um, and uh, wrapped it up. And in a day, the pain was gone, the swelling was gone, the bump was gone. And within two days, there was no indication even of any pain, swelling, or the knee was completely healed. And I was able to bend it and everything else. It was... Uh, permanently permanently cured within two days instead of a week of antibiotics then surgery then recovering from a surgery and hopefully they took care of the issue after all that and to also be antibiotics after that to take care of the the uh, incision from the surgery so that might get infected and so on and so forth so my body, I know, doesn't do well with antibiotics, and I was totally against that whole procedure. So I'm so grateful for the information I got at that point about poultices, and it made me aware of the power of salt and the power of uh, poultices. And um, back to the story about World War One is they used the poultices until they came up with antibiotics. The antibiotics uh, proved to be effective, at least for, you know, certain purposes, until they became, people became immune to the antibiotics, in which case they did more harm than, than good. So, again, this is why the natural processes of using the ganses and the salts and the amino acids and the connection that you get to our ganses and salts and amino acids inside of our body it's a real it's a totally organic natural uh, you know perfect way to uh, connect and balance the body not just the body the soul and all the connections in between the emotional so definitely it's uh, amazing material that can give amazing results. Okay, perhaps you should have a look at this video that uh, was suggested by Dan and probably by then we'll be close to ending the show for today. Um, I think I'll just let it play through since it was appropriate although if it's in I'm not sure if it's in Romanian, it just says Romanian. I guess it's just Romanian translation on the screen or Having something. Having the translation, yes. Uh, and uh, I look uh, it from 12 uh, international uh, knowledge seekers. From 5 uh, April 2016. Okay, so... Um... So this one has English, though, as the main language, or I'm just not sure what's going to play. It's speaking in English. It's an uh, original Okay. Uh, okay. Right. All right, then. So we'll have a listen to that as uh, the treatment for epilepsy. Okay, let's begin that. Cash, this ties in with the question that someone asked, uh, Oliver asked, uh, who wanted to know the best way to help someone with severe hypochondria. Hypochondria is an abnormal anxiety about one's health. 
especially with an unwarranted fear that one has a serious disease. So uh, it's uh, worried about having disease, but having no physical symptoms, essentially. And they're wondering, <clears throat> is a pain pad or a pain pen able to help? And any information around that is appreciated. So it seems like you're answering that question now. You're going to look what are the conditions, psychological conditions for these kind of uh, manifestations of pain. The only thing is, is emotionally being weak, which then allows the physicality to take what it likes to and vice versa. So the only thing you can do with these kind of conditions is to strengthen the emotional part first, which means you don't need a CO2 water to drink. You need a CO2 with a zinc mixture in a, like a, what I call like a cigarette that you can inhale from. You feed the energy and the emotion. You don't need much drinking of CO2 or patch. You need to breathe the air of the composition inside you or patch on two lungs. You have to find a balance between the two lungs, find out which lung is operating time and switch over. It's no use putting a patch on the side of the lung which is not operating long at that time. As you know, your lungs work roughly about one hour each and switches over to the other lung. Even your nostrils work that way, even though you breathe. You breathe through one nostril in conjunction with the lung and then both lungs goes up. But in fact, more effective is one lung than the other because that's the time of operation. So, you have to find out uh, these kind of things. Panic attack and anxiety comes from the lack of strength in emotion. And by now you should have learned CO2 is not much good. Lack of emotion is lack of energy. Energy is connected with CH3. Emotion is connected with zinc oxide. So for the cases like this, you need to make a system which mainly, most probably two systems, one with CH3 and a zinc oxide that they can breathe, and one CH3 with zinc oxide and a CO2, and they can connect the whole thing together. You're dealing with different strength possibilities. You can make a patch, put it around the cup, close the cup, and put a straw and breathe very slowly through the straw. This is how you handle these cases. It's the emotion which is suffering, not the physicality. This fear, anxiety, and then it can show itself as other physical behavior, which shows this is what I am feeling. Or it's not actually a physical interaction, is the manifestation of the emotion in physicality. It's a totally different proposition, totally different program. So people with this kind of thing, you make a patch with CO2, CH3 and zinc oxide, and you make a patch with CO2 and zinc oxide. Sorry, CH3 and zinc oxide. H, CH gives you the energy, the the um, zinc oxide condition is to the emotion. So you have the whole process together. And then in that process, the energy of the zinc, which is emotionally, which is the strength of the emotion of the body of the man, which is stronger than the, what I call the amino acid, because emotion is stronger than the, on the, I mean, acid, emotional side than the physical side, then you handle these cases this way. You got to make a cup, or what I used to do, you got to make a, like a, a breathing system. I showed it last week, but my breathing system is a huge cup with a huge internal zinc composition of the fields. And the, uh, what do you call it? You have to be able to support only the lungs. Whenever you have emotional 
base, what do you call it, conditions, you only work through the long. You don't need to feed the physicality. Physicality doesn't need it. But then you have to know what you are feeding in that process. <clears throat> and then you find out you have a big, big problem. The biggest problem with this kind of psychological problem I've said before is the attention seeking. You find out the person will walk away, will not suffer from any more what they were discussing or what they were suffering they said from. Now they find themselves correct, but they say they don't get any more attention. So now they, what we call in English language, they fake they have the problem to get the attention. Because in that process of illness, they received a lot of attention. And that attention was subconsciously feeding the disease. This is what a lot of people don't understand. And if you tell them, say, you think I'm crazy? I do this to get attention? Yes, you do. Because you found out with attention, you're important. You confirm your own existence. So you help them, they'll come out of it. <clears throat> With the processes like this, it takes three to six months. If you do it very nicely, very correctly, it should happen with less than 30 days. But then you have the attention side, which is more and more difficult because it doesn't exist. They laugh with you, or they laugh with somebody else, and the minute you come in, they're sick. Because why? You are the source of the energy they become sucker to. Very careful with these things. I have become over years very fully aware of these kind of operations. And when we used to process these things, they accuse you of your system doesn't work, you're a crook, but in fact, when you catch them, you never see them again. They never come back because you show them what the, actually the condition is, and they see the hand is open, and they walk off. We've seen a lot of things, a lot of cases like this. So you have to understand when you do a case like this, or when you try to help somebody like this, on the outset, before you start the picking the process, you explain to them, my love for you, my attention for you, my respect for you will not change. When you're better, when you feel good, I have more love to give you. It's you now become part of the equation. It's you, without wanting it in offering your help, have to give a solution that they gradually walk away from it. Because the pain will not be there. The anxiety which partially became part of the attention sinking will not be there. But they pretend it. We've seen this in many, I can show you recordings of it. I can show you a large recording of this. Recovery, but finding losing the tension and then doing everything to get the attention. That it always happens with the psychiatric or psychological conditions. So when you try to say, I can help, you have to understand the whole process. It's not just a patch. It's the confirmation of what is to come and how you have to stop it before it starts. And it's not just once. It has to be reconfirmed that you don't need to do to get attention. Say, I'm not attention seeking, it's just you're in mind. I said, okay, no problem. But when it goes again, do you have a pain? What is the problem? Then you find out there is no problem. We've had a case where the gentleman, after about three months, six months, had no, um, what do you call Parkinson? No Alzheimer's, but it was good to be because 
When the wife went out to the next door neighbor, the guy comes, gets up, and serves himself a tea and everything else. And then the minute she comes back, he cannot work and he's shaking like mad. Can you do my shoes? And can you do this? I want to do this. And then one day the wife, just going across to the neighbors, happened to look inside. She's out of the door and he's making a cup of tea for himself. She knocks on the door and says, it's over. You can stop abusing. We've seen a lot of these things. These CO2, CH3, zinc oxide, are one of the most powerful system in the hand of psychologists, if they understand what they have and how they have to use it. But I have to understand, the usage of it needs a confirmation of fulfillment why the disease or the disorder or reprocessing started from the beginning. We have had a case, a girl, highly educated, in 35 years old, uh, with long years of epilepsy attack. The father being a man of medicine, he tried everything. He's a medical man. When she was brought to us, in less than three, three four months, the epilepsy, all the medical, all the medicine, literally came to an end. And after a few months, I wrote, I received one of the most nastiest emails I ever received from a doctor. You are a waste of time. After four months, five months, it's back again. I thought you solved the problem, but it seems nothing. I thought you can do the medical application. You are safe and everything else. I said, no problem, I take the insult, but can I see the girl, please? She's a highly educated master's. She's got, just doing her PhD. She comes with the father and the mother, and then we found out the epileptic attacks happens exactly. Would you like to give me the screen? I'll write it to you, then you understand how correct it is. Can I share, the, can you let me share the screen? Uh, how do I share this? Pardon? Ah, it's that one in the corner. Okay. What happened? Yeah, I want to pour it. What happened to me? Is that the one? Okay. What happened? Very strange. I said to the father and the mother, mother being a scientist too, I said, I have no problem. But can you give me a timetable? I want you to go and come back in four or six weeks' time. And every time you had an epileptic attack, write it down. And I want to know what you've done 24 hours before, which triggered the epileptic attack. She had this epileptic attack from the age of five. So at 35, 37, being highly educated, this was a normal thing because she was on a lot of dopamine and everything else which they give to these people. But they didn't show any sign. That's why we stopped the process because she recovered fully. And I said, okay, I want to understand. She made the timetable. I still have the timetable. We publish it because it's very important to understand how people who recover with this technology, then they claim false claim because they have a problem. Attacks came very nicely. The timetable she made, and it was her handwriting on her book because the father had to bring it. He's a very well-known physician. Saturday morning, Sunday morning, and usually any holiday. Doesn't matter if holiday was a Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, and strange enough is 10.20, 10.21, and the other one is 9.50, for example. I said, excuse me, can I ask you a question? Yes. You don't have an attack during the, any time. I had an attack, like, in the middle of the week, somewhere here. 
I said to the father as a doctor, I said, would you like to read the room? He said, why? He said, this is something I have to discuss with your daughter and the, and the mother. The mother being a scientist. She said, why not? He got very offended. And I said to the daughter, I said, excuse me, madam, you're a scientist. I respect you highly. And your daughter is a highly educated girl. Do you have a problem with your boyfriend or your husband? She said, why? I said, who took all these readings? He said, I told my boyfriend and he wrote it down. I said, I'm going to ask you a question. Was it the time when he was asking if he won't can make love to you at that time? She said, yes. I said, has your epileptic attack become a, sorry, I've got a headache, darling? She had no answer. She had no answer. Because these systems are so effective. I called the father in. I said, the father, I cannot discuss. Your wife and daughter have to tell you. My system worked. And the mother said, she's correct. he's correct. Then the father broke down and said, the boyfriend is sleeping around. And she doesn't want to get diseased. So she finds this as a way because she knows he's not faithful. And the problem is, He's been to me telling me I get sexual diseases out of the toilet at work. Somebody is contaminated. I said, then the whole world should be contaminated. You have to understand the complexity of the psychosomatic diseases which people use to hide their emotions or their fears. So, when you start such a process, these technologies are 100% proof. When I leave a lot of cases I do not follow because I could see I can spend years. They come to me to get attention, to take energy from me, for them to confirm it's another doctor I failed. So when you deal with any kind of psychological, psychosomatic, understand the reason behind and then it's not understanding it, is understanding it and making it CO2 is 5% of the job. The other 95% is to give surety that there is no changes in the feeling. This is the problem. This is where the Present psychological processes fail and tablets and injections has taken over because the world of science has failed to understand the other side of the equation, which is I stay ill as long as I can get attention. And a lot of people to them to go to a doctor for five minutes, they worth the whole world to be sick for. Because that five minutes, the doctor is theirs. And they don't get that chance anywhere in their private life. We've seen this recently with the people who we gave a platform in these teachings. People who have no competence and they have nothing. And then when they come here, we give them platform, they suddenly lose themselves, they become important. And then everybody else is crazy because now I've been, I had a 10 minutes or half an hour presentation on the care because this justifies their behavior. So this is what we see. And then they take over, everybody else is wrong because they cannot handle such immense attention and understanding. And then they become, this is what in so many ways, the psychological part of this teachings is about. You watch how many people we bring here no institute, no organization gives a platform for people. Come a man on the street to come and explain the scientific, whatever it could be. And a lot of people can't handle that attention. They go two ways. They disappear, or in getting the attention, they become totally overwhelmed by it, and they take over their life. And then everybody else is wrong, because they're right. Let me see a lot of them. In the past two years, three years, 
look at the number of people we have given a platform to be correct that they can share knowledge. And you see a few have fallen off the barrel because they cannot handle it. Because they, in their life, nobody has given them that kind of attention. They have always been subordinate. Being equal for them is something is not done and then it's too much for them to handle. They have to destroy the man who gives them a platform to be something. And we've seen the people who make the benefit of it, like Alex, Benjamin and the rest, and they make a change for the nation. But those who can't, they go to their own self-destruction. Psychological control has to be that I confirm your existence. This is why every time anybody presents something new, I always thank them for the knowledge they share. Because that's the acknowledgement of existence of life work. That's all majority of the life depends on. Understanding that every man, position and work has its own value of existence. So next time when you speak about depression, you speak about Alzheimer's, you speak about this kind of thing, first Making a system to be appropriate for them is 5% of the job. The other 95 is the confirmation of the position in loving you has not changed. In what you need to take from me, from attention has not changed. Then you find out that the 5% work perfect. And they say, yes, the technology works. It fails on because you forget the most important part. I'm sick, I show anxiety, and by accident or whatever, I learn through that, I get attention. You give me something which balances this 95%, I let go. Question regarding that. Can you hear me? Yes. Rick, okay. uh, we are seeing the live stream. Okay. Um, with my dog, um, usually this happens like first thing in the morning and he wakes up with a seizure. I mean, he's still sleeping and then all of a sudden he just riles up and everything starts. Um, that's the usual way it happens. So I don't know if in this case it has anything to do with attention or if it is some has something to do with my energy. If I'm, my energy affects him. But a lot of times we both wake up from his seizure. He sleeps on the floor and I'm waking up in my bed. So From I don't how know. many times it's uh, waking uh, in the morning, for example, to go into the, how to say, to passage, uh, go outside, or uh, play Usually he's, he's still asleep, and then more recently, this whole thing has gotten worse, so it can happen any time of day. And recently it like comes every three hours when, when he has a cluster of seizures, it come every three hours or so. And it's a major disruption. Like he, it's a grand mal seizure where any furniture in nearby just goes, goes shaking and everything that's on the table goes flying and he loses control of his bladder. So it's a major event for me to have to deal with on a regular basis. So I don't know if my emotions affect him. That could very well be because we are very close, but I don't know. You are always uh, closer to the this dog. Every time yeah. you pay attention what's happening and trying to help it. 
when it happens, sure, I do, because I'm trying to catch the pee before it goes all over the place. I put this question uh, for beginning of this uh, series of crises, let's say, from two years ago, one, three years ago. Yeah, then it, uh, he is my dog. So I'm the primary person in his life. Um, and I got him to be my assistant because I had a major concussion and I had issues with balance and my visual coordination and all this kind of stuff. And he was going to be my buddy. And now I end up being his, his caretaker. Um, so um, we're pretty closely tied together. And if there's anything that I am contributing with, with my emotions, and then maybe I have to do the zinc thing. Perhaps it's better to put in the, this question to the Mr. Cash. Yeah. Directly. Yeah. And regarding he also, the emotion part. Yeah. He also, um, various uh, health professionals, alternative health professionals suggested it has something to do with EMFs. And uh, he sleeps under my table, my computer is on top, and uh, transformer and the, the uh, printer and, uh, you know, the modem is nearby. So I was thinking about that and my cell phone. So I try to turn that off as much as possible. But it seems to happen anyway. That's, yeah, maybe I have to ask Mr. Yeah, Cash. something you can do. Um, the modem is definitely something that you should think about because it puts out pulses of pretty intense energy. And to a dog, uh, some of those uh, might be actually audible in the high frequency um, spectrum. Um, so, what you can do is, one thing you could do is uh, avoid the use of the uh, Wi-Fi part of the modem. And for example, yeah. if you have a computer that's on Wi-Fi, maybe you can hook it up directly with uh, a... My computer is Ethernet. always hooked up. It's always Directly plugged with, in. with an Ethernet cable, you mean, to yes. the modem? Okay. Yes. Um, Just not my cell phone. That is not, it's laying right here on the desk. Right, if you can turn that off or turn it on to even uh, um, what they call airplane, air, mode. Air, airplane mode, yeah, then that would definitely be best, especially um, at night when uh, you're sleeping. Yeah, like, like during tonight's um, class. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And he's, he always sleeps near me. He's always near me. Mm hmm. Okay, I will see what I mm. can do. And there's so many hours of teachings, you know. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Well, yes, so indeed. Okay. Okay, thank you. thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, you can... lesson, I don't, uh, I don't remember where, but I search. It explains how it trigger and how it's happening is overloading and switching regarding this. But I will search this part of uh, Mr. Cash video. Yeah, and it seems to happen every two weeks. It's like for a while he, um, it's like it's kind of like overflowing. The stimulus is kind of overflowing. The way I understand it is this. Uh, Breaching the barrier between the brain and the rest of the body, the the electrical stimulation or something, and before that, or with the medication, it keeps it under control. So I was kind of looking at it as if it was the cup was overflowing after two weeks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Dan, if you can find that uh, teaching, that. That would be good, and uh, we can get it. That would be to wonderful. Those, to We've those been, who need, like Imgur. Yeah, I've been looking for answers for a long time now. He's been having this like three and a half years. 
and getting worse. Thank you. Another question, now, if I use the uh, CO2 GANs for him, um, do I need to use freshly prepared or can I use uh, the water that is um, next to the GANs? Does it make a difference, you think? Because right now I have the, the GANs sitting right next to a container of water and then I use that water. Um, do you use any of the water that has the GANs um, material sitting in it? Yes. Okay, so you, that's where you get the water from, is you take it from your GANs water as such as has no, the GANs I said in it. I have a, um, a vial with the GANs and I have that next to or in the drinking water. Yeah, that doesn't make Gans water, though. Oh, it doesn't. That's a, a plasma water, is the way I understand okay. it, which is it's not not the same as uh, the Gans plasma water. Like um, the the way to if you were to ingest the Gans water, for example, mm -hmm. that that means. Um, um, making it by f using the white, you know, GANS material in, in the case of uh, CO2 and zinc oxide type GANS. Right. You know, classic sort of cup one, it's except cup one that often has uh, copper in it as well, or is colored a little bit that way, but not always. Um, but let's say it's some sort of light colored material. And then you, of course you, normally would uh, flush that uh, several times by uh, uh, you know, by either taking the GANs itself out and putting it in distilled water and uh, flushing that around and doing that several times, taking it out, putting it in. Um, or uh, pouring off the uh, top part of the salty water and then pouring in water to uh, dilute it and and uh, keep washing out the salty part of the GANS so you no longer taste salt in the GANS water and then that's the water that you would drink. Okay. Okay, but only, so I... only after let, letting, the, then you can let the GANS settle to the bottom and mm -hmm. after it's settled you can use the water in the top half or top third of the uh, container that'll be your gans water to drink okay i'll try that i was using the plasma water yeah that's not as uh, powerful as the uh, gans water that's for sure thank you anybody else add to that uh, any information did I get that correct, or does someone else have some some uh, better thing to say about that? Okay, we'll let it stand for now. Okay, does anybody else have anything they would like to bring up today? Malcolm has a comment in the chat. It's a very interesting thing, this psychosomatic, but difficult where to draw the line regarding people with dementia, etc. Would it be wrong to say that they are all putting in to gain attention? Put, uh, all putting it in to gain attention? I have a loved one with it, and it's very complex. Yeah, I think it depends on uh, the particular f affliction and what's going on there, whether there's a physicality uh, element to it that's the main thing, or there's other uh, psychological factors that are involved. OK, 
can be very complex, true. But for someone like Mr. Kesh, it's complex, but yet he goes right to the source of the issue quite rapidly, as was shown in this uh, video that we just watched. Thank you for that, uh, Dan, by the way. That was a, an excellent uh, link right back to an older workshop that Mr. Kesh was pretty sharp on in that particular one. You have eight hours from now on, more or less. Eight hours to what? Oh, sorry. It's uh, one day and uh, eight hours. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> I forget. <laughs> yes. Thank you. You almost had a heart attack here. <laughs> yeah, so we should end this workshop because we're over two hours here now. So. Uh, if there's nothing else that we have to discuss, then uh, perhaps we'll wrap it up for today. Going once, going twice. The rooster is crowing, so I guess it's time. Um, it's not even my rooster. I have a rooster that comes in from the neighbors. In fact, several of them. Okay. All right, we'll wrap it up for today. And uh, what's coming up next? We have the One Nation, One Planet, One Race for World Peace coming up tomorrow. That's Tuesday, March 15th. And that uh, starts at uh, 4 p.m. Uh, Central European time. And people in North America and other jurisdictions that have uh, gone to the uh, what do they call it uh, or summer savings time uh, BEST pardon me BEST summertime in Europe Is that what no doing? no uh, what what have we just gone to uh, we've Oh, Easter, uh, daylight savings time. Daylight savings time, yes, that's it. I sh should know after decades of enduring this strange ritual. And it's even stranger because our time for daylight savings time just changed on Sunday night. So we're an hour, now an hour ahead, but it didn't change for European time. So there'll be another, what, couple of weeks or something before they change over to another hour ahead. So we're synchronized to what we were before. It's a confusing time and uh, humans should get it together a little better about the whole time thing, I think. It just doesn't make sense. It made sense in the old days when people had to go to work in the dark and light and... They wanted everybody to be working during the light hours and being able to make it home before dark and then dark and so on and so forth. And They get more production hours out of the population that way. It was the original idea with these t time changes. But now people work day or night so it doesn't really matter as much as it did in the old days and we have lots of extras like lights and headlights and cars and we get around at night pretty good so it's a, a different scenario and pro there's a lot of discussion of dropping that whole uh, daylight savings time uh, scenario so perhaps that will happen and also for the cest the uh, european summer time uh, as well uh, so, is bring me out uh, this memory what Mr. Kirsch is saying in the uh, our ship no uh, we are never sleep our soul is ne never sleep and we have the light always it's not uh, this uh, 24 hour day and night mm. it's always mm -hmm. light how to manage this when mm -hmm. you say it's always bright 
Yes, and what is the time? The time is now. It's always now. So I think we should have watches that just say now. And the hand just goes around and always goes to now. That way it's not so confusing. And if no matter where you are on the planet, you look at your watch and it's now. You talk to someone on the other side of the planet and you say, what time is it there? Now. Okay, it's now here too, so we're synchronized. <laughs> What's wrong with that? Ah. Humans and their customs are hard to get a hard to get used to. It takes a whole lifetime just to get uh, used to the human uh, customs on this planet. And by then it's too late. <laughs> Anyway, I hope everyone has a good day while we prepare for the One Nation, One Planet uh, workshop tomorrow. It'll be good to see people there. That's, that's the next public workshop. And of course, uh, Wednesday, starting at 7 a.m. Central European Time, is the uh, uh, Plasma Reactor Group that people are welcome to attend and uh, bring your plasma replications or questions or concepts that you'd like to discuss and we go into a full range of topics in that workshop okie dokie is there anything I'm missing guess not oh I'll just announce the next testimonials meeting which will be in April it's always the second Monday of April so that'll be April 11th 2022 so try to think of something in the next month or just pay attention to some of the small miracles that occur through plasma technology and uh, if you can talk about it next time or show it even better then that would be great okay I think that's it for today thank you Mark for being a co-host today and for everyone uh, uh, contributing and uh, being here for the workshop. Okay, I'm going to play... Let me see... The Universal Body Enhancement Spaceship Unit. And then the uh, flight unit to go out with. Okay. Bye for now, everyone. The Universal Body Enhancement Spaceship Unit. The very first new evolutionary spaceship technology has been rolled out for mass production. Embedding the essence of the new GANS plasma science and technology, it uses collective plasma field technology for changing and enhancing the environment of the body of the man. This new plasma enhancement changes the environment of the body to allow it to return to its natural, balanced, energetic condition, as in the womb of the mother, allowing every cell in the body of the man to find its natural, original field strength balance. The shape and field distribution in this new space plasma technology replicates the inner structure of the universe and replicates the balanced fields from which the man was created at the point of inception in the womb of the mother, not only receiving balance in the physical but also in the emotional sense too. This new spaceship technology can be within the reach of every man today and can be ordered by medical practitioners, sports specialists and healthcare centres. The Universal Enhancement Spaceship Unit, the future you have been waiting for, is here. Thank you.